Welcome to our first mini project, building a basic SVG banner, from design to animation in under 10 minutes. We're going to start with a blank SVG document and build out this fun animation on CodePen with GSAP. This lesson is going to be mostly review with a few little extras thrown in. Since we've covered all of these topics before in previous lessons, I'll be able to move pretty quickly through this demo. Let's get going. So over here in Boxy SVG, the first thing I want to do is create an ellipse that covers the entire document. So I'm going to go to my ellipse tool and I'm just going to hold down shift so that I can draw a perfectly constrained circle. To center it, I'm going to select the transform tool and then go over here to the arrangement panel and click on this button right here to center it perfectly on the stage. Now when I go to scale this, if I just click and drag this corner here, it's not going to be constrained proportionally. So let me undo that. If I hold down shift, it's going to scale proportionally, but it's going to be scaling from the top left hand corner, not so good. So let me command Z to undo, and I wanna hold down command and shift to scale from center. And I'm gonna scale up just until I can't see that stage anymore. Now that I know that I'm covering the stage, I'm going to go over to my fill panel and let me just change this to basically a deep red, something like that. And for the stroke, I'm just going to get rid of it. Now, as I lay out my text, I kind of want to know where things are going to be. So I'm just going to go back to the fill and let me just temporarily give this circle an opacity that's a little bit lower so that I can just get an idea of where the edges of my document are going to be. So next, let's add some text. So I'm going to select the text tool, click, and then type animate. I'm going to head on over to the typography panel, and I'm going to select a Google font, and I'm going to just type in Bungie to find it quickly, and single click to apply it. I'll go to the fill tool, and I'm just going to set the fill to be white. We'll keep things simple. Now I'm very quickly going to go back to the transform tool and I'm going to command C to copy and then paste and then I'm going to change this to SVG and I'm going to do this quickly for the rest. I'm just going to select copy paste, type with, go back to my selection tool, copy paste again and we'll do GSAT. So now that I have these four text objects created, I'm just going to do some very quick and dirty transformations. All right, I'm going now for speed over precision. So let me just hold down shift so that I can constrain the proportions as I make this animate fill up most of the width of the document. And so I'm gonna do animate SVG is coming next. So I'm just gonna put it here and we're going to scale it up big. And then we're just going to move it a few pixels. Again, not going for pixel perfect precision here. I'm going for speed. Oh no, things don't fit. Well, I know some designers out there will be bleeding inside, but I'm just going to squish this width up a little bit so that I can make room for my GSAP, okay? And then shift click on the rest of them. And with all of these text nodes selected, I'm gonna go to shape, shape to path, and that's gonna turn them over into path elements. Now I don't have to worry about loading or embedding fonts. Now to make my file kind of neat and ready for scripting, what I'm gonna do with all of these paths still selected, I'm gonna to go to object and select group. And what that's gonna do is wrap everything in this G tag. So let me expand it and then you will see all the paths. Let me just take this elements panel here and drag it up a bit so you get a better idea. We have our outer SVG, our defs tag, our ellipse, and then this G or group tag that has our four individual paths. And I eventually want to target these paths and animate them. So what I'm gonna do to keep things a little bit neat is I'm gonna select this G tag and let me just bring the elements window down just a touch so that we can see that it is selected. And I'm gonna go over to this meta panel here and in this scripting section, keep an eye on that G, I'm going to add an ID of text. Ooh. Look at that. Now I have an ID on this element, which will make it easier to target these paths with scripting and make this SVG somewhat readable to somebody else. And before we do that scripting, I just wanna select this ellipse, go to the fill panel, and let's just crank that opacity up. And now we're ready to right click on the SVG and copy outer SVG. And let's take a little stroll over to CodePen. Over in CodePen, I'm just gonna paste in that code and voila. There's our fancy SVG. 
Let's scroll on up to the top. Ooh, that's a lot of path data for those fonts, but it's okay. And I just wanna show you that we have an ellipse here, and that's the first thing we are going to animate. So I'm gonna head over to my JavaScript panel, and in the settings, I'm going to wanna make sure that I'm loading in GSAP. Ooh, it's right there. And then I'm gonna type in GS Dev Tools, which we use all the time for scrubbing through our animations. We'll get the basics out of the way by setting up a timeline for our animations, and hooking it up to GS Dev Tools. Now that that's out of the way, I want to animate this ellipse from a scale of zero. So what I'll do is I'll do a dot from tween, I'll target the ellipse, and we'll do scale zero, and ooh, there we go. That might not have been exactly what we want, but let's go to GS Dev Tools and play it again. And what we'll notice is that this circle is actually scaling from its top left-hand corner, which is way off the stage over there. So unlike DOM elements, SVG elements have their transform origin in the top left. So I'm going to set it to transform origin, and we'll just do 50%, 50%. Ooh, that's what I was looking for. Let's give that another play. Ah, isn't that nice? We have our perfect scaling up from center. And next what I wanna do is target all of the paths inside this text group and stagger them in in a similar scaling fashion. Let me just crank my JavaScript panel up a bit here. And so I'm going to chain on another from tween and I'm gonna target the text group and I'm going to get every path inside of there. And again, we'll do a scale of zero, transform origin of, we'll say 50%, 50%. Woo, that's nice. And then let's just add a little stagger on there of 0 0.05, and we'll do an ease of back. Ooh, that's what I'm going for. Now as lovely as this is, I wanna add a little bit of extra pizzazz, and when this circle comes up, I wanna have multiple circles at different opacities. Since I know about SVG code, and you do too, I don't need to go back into boxy SVG for something like this. I'm just gonna take this ellipse here, and I'm gonna copy it, and I'm going to boom, paste it once, paste it twice. And let me just pull down my HTML panel just a little bit so we can see exactly where they are. And you know what, I might just make things a little bit more narrow here. And I wanna show you that each one of these ellipses has an inline style with this fill here. And what's gonna happen is when I stagger these, they're gonna stagger one, two, three. So what I'm gonna do is set different opacities on the first two, okay? This one here, I'm gonna to set to an opacity of 0 0.2. And although this is an RGB color, I can add an alpha value at the end. And I'm gonna make this one 0 0.5. And so now there's literally three circles all animating at the same time. But what I'm gonna do in my GSAP code here is I'm just going to add a stagger value of, let's do 0 0.1. Ah, let's go back to the beginning and look what we have. This is the first circle with an opacity of 0 0.2, and then this next one of 0 0.5 comes in, and then we're going to have the full opacity circle. And it just adds that little extra touch that makes it stand out. So this looks really nice, especially since we're well under 10 minutes, but before we go, let's do some final cleanup. The first thing I want to address is that I feel like these circles in the beginning come in really quick, all right? It's just really in your face. So I'm gonna slow them down a little bit by adding a duration one to that tween. Ah, that's a little bit more relaxing, okay? Don't you think? Now, although it's going to be a subtle difference, when these circles are growing in, right about here, you'll see that we have this sort of like even distribution of their sizes, if you will and they're all basically animating at the same rate with the same ease, and what's happening with the default ease is that they are starting sort of fast and then slowing down at the end. But what I'm gonna do is just tack on an ease here of power two dot in out, and it may be a subtle difference, but they're gonna start slow and then slow down at the end. And halfway through here, you're gonna have a very small red circle in the center and a much larger faded out circle on the outside there, okay? So again, it's very subtle, but after a few tests, I definitely preferred this ease here with this duration one. 
Also, you'll notice that the circles come in and then the text follows. And I really don't like this one thing and then the next sort of animation. I like a little bit of overlap. So on the text animation, I'm just going to add a position parameter of minus equals 0 0.4, we'll say. And now that text comes in, you'll see as the circles are just about making their way out. And again, this is all stuff that you can tweak, but I think that these subtle changes definitely make the animation look better. And the final thing before we wrap up is gonna be getting rid of any flash of unstyled content. This SVG is going to load and display before our from tweens set the scale of zero here. So I'm gonna go into CodePen settings real quick. We've done this before. We're gonna turn off the auto updating preview, which will then give me the friendly run button up here. Now, as soon as I run, the page is going to reload, we're going to see the SVG, and then it's going to animate in. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and give this SVG a class of demo. And then in the CSS, I'm going to plop in a little rule that sets its opacity to zero. And finally, in the JavaScript, I'm going to do a GSAP set on the demo. And we're just going to say, hey, you know what, we'll set that opacity to one when the JavaScript is ready to run. Again, we've done this a few times throughout these courses, and now when we run, there you go. There's no flash, and it looks wonderful. So hopefully this review has helped you. Maybe you've learned a few more things about Boxy SVG and SVG in general, but please crack open that program, design something very simple, and animate it with GSAP. You're not going to learn any of this stuff unless you dive in and get your hands a little dirty with some code. See you in the next lesson. Do you want to gain mastery of the Greensock animation platform through more videos like this? I'll show you all the tips and tricks I've learned over a decade of using GSAP, working at Greensock, and teaching it to thousands of developers like you. My training is guaranteed to save you hours of frustration as you learn to add ultra slick animations to all your web projects. From UI animations to text effects to just plain silly stuff, creativecodingclub.com has you covered. Join today to get early access to my groundbreaking SVG animation with Greensock course plus over 180 GSAP lessons, and get new lessons weekly. Visit creativecodingclub.com for more details.